started this as a hobby. My best friend's wife has the first board I ever made. It's just made out of pieces of pallets. Years later, it's no longer just a hobby. But Billy Landenberger is still making his boards from pallets. Or virtually any piece of old reclaimed wood he can get his hands on. It could be a piece of furniture, it could be a cedar fence. I oftentimes would use pieces of and parts from home projects that I did that otherwise would end up burned or in a landfill, and it gives it a second, you know, a second life, so to speak. But make no mistake, as Landenberger begins to cut and shape his boards, any sign the wood was once destined for the trash heap disappears. But the uniqueness of the wood and how they're pieced together is unlike anything. So how many pieces of old wood is this one board? So you have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, oftentimes there are nine, um, you get the edges. Uh, so nine pieces of wood that comes from various places. With all those pieces, it takes roughly six hours over 10 days to complete just one board. And since each is cut from an array of various remnants, proudly he says no two boards will ever come out the same. So you could line them all up together and they you know, might look a little bit similar, but everyone's unique. Uh, in its own way, whether it's the grain pattern of the wood or whether it's nail holes or, you know, uh, you can still see some of the grain left over from the planing process. One of a kind and built, he touts, to last a lifetime. And each board comes with a written reminder that only reclaimed and scrap wood were used to build it. No lumberjack needed. A lesson this longtime long border hopes his customers will roll with. The idea was, I guess, born out of, you know, sustainability or using kind of what was already here. And, you know, the more we can project that message to the people that are buying these boards, I mean, they're great boards and they're cool looking. They are, and so you may have figured the reason he calls his company Sad Lumberjack, it's because the lumberjack is sad that there is no work for him to do. No cutting down trees to provide the wood that Landenberger needs.